Nikki Ann. I hope. What's going on with the volume and stuff? Um, just coming on to. What am I? What am I doing? Yeah, yeah, okay. So I have a channel on Spreecast, which is um, a platform where you actually have conversations with people and um, pr kind of produce the show yourself by letting in comments and um, so forth and other guests. Kind of like Google Hangout, but not. It really is for um, uh, the ability to produce a show rather than just full-on recording, two people talking, or ten people hanging out. Um, I, uh, my intention for part of it is to give our community, um, chronic illness community, invisible disabilities, um, all of those things, invisible illness, um, to give us uh, another voice. And not just another voice, but the opportunity to engage with each other and for people to see live um, what it is that we go through, what's on our minds, um, how our, especially those of us who are mostly um, housebound, bedridden, how we view the world from our beds, our sick beds hospital rooms um, and I, because I do believe we have a different perspective because of uh, the physical limitations okay so definitely would love to hear from anyone who would not mind being interviewed um, as I produce the show um, yeah, just interview, and mostly it's not, it's not a debate. That's not the kind of way. That's not the way that I want to um, handle it. I just want to give us a voice, so it'll be more of asking questions about your experiences, not about what, uh, not about what we think about the system of it all, but your experiences, which cannot be challenged what you experience with your illness from your bed, um, from your house, or from the hospital room, or from your doctor's office, or from those moments when you finally get out in life for an hour or so, um, what it's like, and what you would like for people to know. Um, and it, it doesn't have to just be about the illness. It could be about how the illness has given you another perspective on global issues. And because I believe we have so much to say because we are kind of bound to different circumstances and we're not typically uh, the working class. If you have the type of illness um, where it prevents you from even doing something from bed. Like, there are moments where it clearly look as if I could, but then people don't see five minutes later when all of a sudden I'm going faint or so that my body is not, it cannot be trusted. It looks fine, but it cannot be trusted. And so we we'll like to hear from those people who um, find themselves and that type of situation and what life looks like from bed and I'm really about the bed part or the housebound part um, uh, I want people to see us in our regular discussions how we have them on YouTube from our limited space and um, a real feel a real feel and just your honest story so please leave um, your information specifically email because as we all know um, it's the best way to 
uh, communicate. So you can either, you can actually leave me a comment here. That's the way we'll handle it. Let's keep it simple. Um, so leave me a comment here and um, and include in that comment your email that you check most often just in case I kind of want to you know go outside of this platform so again it's called Spreecast and I'll put the information below um, yeah so that's it looking forward to hearing from you guys I've been wanting to do this for wow how long ago have that I I think I had spree it's been about two years since I've had it I've been wanting to do this for two years and I am finally um, able to have some time because I have taken off the summer from all appointments originally and then all of a sudden my legs the progression there so my legs are not functioning just like that people <laughs> so I will be doing physical therapy um so I'll go this week so I thought I would have but I this is the most time I will have had it feels like in a decade to be in my room long enough and not in a doctor's office or some testing facility to actually engage with you guys and I think a lot of us are finally probably arriving at that point where we are home a little bit more and have a little bit more time because we've been through all the tests we've done all the diagnosis uh, regimens and so yeah leave a message yeah and right this moment I'm excited about hearing from you guys but I feel like I could vomit you see how invisible it is? And I know you guys know this. Oh, Dana, Dana, I'm going to send this to you specifically because um, I want you to help me with the testing. Like you'll be a test. And then um, I'm thinking, guys, that um, Lisa, I would like for her to be the first. So I'll need Dana for the testing, Lisa for the first. Um, interview and then from there cause I've kind of been mapping that out for two years and that from there we can go on and get everyone else who wants an opportunity on and uh, yeah that's it more to come I'll leave the information below and uh, keep the I'll keep the comments open sometimes guys lately I close the comments after a few days I'll give people a few days to say something because I just don't have time for the ignorance anymore. I know I'm just tired. And if you so, if you notice that I closed the comments, yeah. If you watch the video within the first few days, you'll get an opportunity to leave a comment. But after that, I just shut it down. It's not worth. I have enough issues. It's not worth, you know, people offending, you know, my viewers or or, or me about our truth about living from this space. Again the stuff we talk about is not a debate it's about our truth there's nothing to debate about what we go through and at offices and how the story plays out you know so okay that's it all right looking forward to hearing from you and getting this started it before the fall because then I'm back to all of my other appointments come September yeah yeah back to regular life on the 1st of September, I think. <laughs> okay. Ah. <sighs>